Lucy, I love Lucy says, I love your channel. Jonathan, question. I have an ex I have an anxiety disorder. When should I tell and bring the subject up when I start dating someone? I have an anxiety disorder. Um well, I guess, okay, so I have I I think the I, I have a um Oh God, I'm tongue tied here. Please forgive me. So if you follow my work, I talk about the five signs of emotional maturity, the five signs of emotional maturity. Number one, your actions matching your words. Number two, you take personal responsibility for your choices. You're in victor consciousness and not victim consciousness. Number three, you know how to fight fair. And what that means is it's not about being right. When you're in an argument with someone, it's about uh, listening to the other person's point of view and accepting their point of view as being true for them and vice versa. Number three, empathy. And empathy just doesn't mean I can feel someone else's feelings. Empathy means I care about someone's feelings. And more importantly, I care about my own feelings at the same at the same weightedness, okay? Because whenever we compromise our own feelings, we're actually not being empathetic to ourselves. And lastly, number five is transparency. And I always say, if it's material to the relationship, then you should speak up sooner rather than later. So if your anxiety can effectively can affect the relationship, then I'm a big proponent of talking about it sooner rather than later. Certainly if you begin explore, listen, first date is a meeting, okay? First date is the sniff test. <laughs> okay, sniff test like a dog, okay? You're just sniffing each other out to see if you wanna go on a second, second, meet, a second date. Actually, the first date is a meeting. The second time you meet is the first date. And if you get to the point where someone's asked you out three times after the first meeting, and it happens all within a three week period of time, that means you're gonna be investing in a relationship with them. So here's what I would recommend if you have an anxiety disorder. Um, and also I wanna differentiate between people who are HSP, who are highly sensitive uh, person versus people with anxiety. But here's what I would suggest bringing it up to them in a very calm manner, explaining about your condition. But I would further add, what information does he need to know about your condition? I'm repeat that. What information does he need to know about your condition to A, not trigger you, trigger that anxiety, but also to support you in that anxiety. And also if you're taking medication and explain to him how the anxiety manifests itself, especially when you're in relationship. And then that allows that person to make a choice. I certainly would discuss this well before the penis goes inside the vagina. And those who know my work, you should all be reading the book, Eight Dates by Drs. John and Julie Gottman before the penis goes inside the vagina. So at least you know you're on the same page when it comes to exploring a relationship. This is the mechanics to a healthy, happy relationship. So uh, coming back to your question, which I think is a great question. When is the time to bring it up? I would certainly, I wouldn't do it on the first meeting per se, but by the time you get to this, you know, after you've had your second or third date and you feel like the two of you are going to be investing in getting to know one another, then that would be a good time to bring it up in a very co compassionate, loving way, explain how it manifests itself, what he should know about it and what you're doing about it with respect to the relationship. And I think you're gonna have greater success by speaking about it sooner rather than later. I know a lot of coaches will tell you to wait, 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 wait. Oh my God, I had one coach say that you should wait right before your sex to tell someone, right while you're naked, tell them you have herpes. I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? the last minute. That's something that should be discussed sooner rather than later. And with respects to what you shared, um, I also think the same. So um, I hope that helped. Thank you so much for that question. Luce, I love Lucy. I really appreciate it. Great question. All right.